Hello, everyone. This is Mike Thomas, a real estate agent, real estate um, broker associate for Premier Brokers International Real Estate here in Palm Beach County, Florida. And I am here to give you the report uh, on the entire country today. Uh, this is the first time I've done that. So I'm going to go ahead and go through not only the state of Florida, but how Florida compares to the rest of the uh, the country out there, where people are moving from, where are they going to, which markets are up, which markets are down. So let's get started. This is going to be a very, very intense video. It's got a lot of important information and data, so uh, please stay tuned until the end. Uh, I've made this video especially for you, my viewers. I thank you so much for your support over the years, and so I am doing this for you. Uh, here we are looking at the state of Florida. This is the entire state of Florida, and this is the chart. Uh, let me just go to my dashboard here and go through. The number of closed sales are down from uh, last year, April 2022. Uh, home prices are the same. Uh, cash offers are also down over last year, um, and percentage of cash offers being down is about 30% over last year. What does all this mean? I'm going to get into it in just a minute. Um, the average sales price uh, is also down 3.6% over last year. So people ask me, Mike, oh my God, what's going on? Is the market going down? Well, let me just explain this. Let's say you bought something and it went up 30%, let's say you bought, I don't know, a stock and you bought it for, you know, $10 a share and now it's at $30 a share. Uh, and you're going, wow, this is great. And then it comes down 3%. So you're still up 27%, but it came down 3%. The media likes to focus on, oh my God, it came down 3%. And my answer to that is, so what? I bought it for 10, I'm still up 27%. So the stock is still good. Um, and that's basically what people do all the time, is they get so focused on when something drops just a smidge that they freak out. They don't realize that it's gone up, you know, a lot. A lot of people are looking for the market to come down so they can buy because they missed the opportunity of buying at a low price. And, um, you know, I that I can't answer for you. I don't think that the market is coming down. I don't think we're going into a recession either, like most people are saying. And I'll show you some of the numbers why I think that. But anyway, let me get back to this chart. It shows that medium sale price, the original price, down 3.3%. What that means is people are offering, instead of full price, 100% of the purchase price are thinking about 3.3% off of that price and purchasing it at that price. So if you're looking to buy something for $100,000, you're making offers at $96,700 and they're getting accepted. That's basically what that means. The number of days on the market is much um, more because Florida was on fire and a lot of people bought here, but it's still hot. And even though it's not burning at a thousand degrees, it's still burning very, very hot. So it's still going strong. Uh, I think it's going to continue to go strong. I know that there's a lot of negativity out there, um, you know, focusing on that smidge that has gone downward, but every single month it goes up and down. Last year, um, what was it? April 2022 was one of the strongest months in history. Uh, what that means is that's when people were buying the most. And of course, it's going to come down from there, but it's not going to drop way down. It's not going to go directly the opposite direction. Real estate is very inelastic. Unlike a stock, it can open at uh, one price and close uh, at another price. It could go way up and way down several times in a day. Real estate does not do that. It takes quite a long time for real estate to move. And it's based on supply and demand. So that means supply and demand. 
if a product, any product out there is in high demand, the price is going to go up. If people stop buying that price, it's going to go, uh, that product, it's going to go on sale. Real estate is no different than any other product out there. So I'm looking at these numbers here and all of that really doesn't mean that much to me. The only thing that really means anything to me is the medium sales price. And basically um, that's what the most of the homes are going for. That's the average of average prices. You take the highs out, you take the lows out, and most people are buying between, you know, around $410,000 uh, here in Florida. So let's take a look at the entire state, what's going on. Um, I like the zero, this is single family homes. I like the zero line, where is it? Zero vertical axis, here it is. And this basically tells me this is zero. And this is how things are going. I like to look at not closed sales, but people are always wondering what are homes selling for. And I like to look at medium price homes. So, and then this is going to give me the zero access here. Include zero vertical access. Um, and this is for single family homes. If I take a look at townhouses and condominiums, I get a different picture of what that looks like. This does not look like the values are dropping and that, but it does look pretty steady here. As it goes up, it's looking like a steady increase. Now from here, June of 2022 to July of uh, 2022, there was a drop in price, about $20,000 and it continues to go up so it's not coming down it's not going below this point or even this point here of 250,000 so that is florida in itself as a whole let's take a look at some of the other major metro areas around here let's take a look at the fort myers uh, area cape coral fort myers bonita springs uh what does that look like and here's the graph on that. I'm not seeing a major drop dropping down here. Poof. Um, so when people are saying the market is changing, um, things are not happening, um, prices are going to come down. I want to wait until the prices come down. I hear that every single day. Uh, the problem with that is that you may mess out on some opportunities waiting for the market to come down, uh, especially when the market is not coming down. Um, and people were telling me, Mike, I'm going to wait until the interest rates come down in September. Uh, they went up to 6% and they're, they told me I'm going to wait until the interest rates go down. Now they're at 8%. And I'm going to see you should have bought in September when they were at 6%. And plus, you can always refinance the house, so it's not a big deal. Um, here is the market again, pretty steady, pretty level. Um, when it comes to the Destin area, all of Fort Walton Beach, Destin, uh, Crestview area, single family homes. I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to switch over to this graph because I wanted to show you a couple of things. This is the home index value and it's the raw and basically what that means is that are things going up and down where are they going miami still in high demand richmond virginia oklahoma 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 city oklahoma hartford connecticut kansas city pennsylvania philadelphia pennsylvania um, you can take a look at this list and maybe find yours in here here's the united states as a whole the U.S. as a whole is up 1.51%, so about 1.5%. Uh, you can see Chicago in here, Jacksonville is in here, until we start hitting the negatives. Now, if this were a true recession, then everything would be in the negative. All of these would be negative, 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 negatives. But if you look at this particular graph, you see that people are moving from Austin, Texas, Seattle, Washington, you know, those areas. And they are moving to these states. 
Um, the values are coming down in those states, the values are going up in the state. So it's a pretty balanced market here in the United States. I can't see that one is over the other. If we are going to have a market crash or a market um, you know, recession, then it would be all over the place everywhere, not just in one single place. It's kind of like, yeah, the stock market is up for every single stock except yours. And then you're going, oh my God, the stock market is crashing. No, the stock market is not crashing. Your stock is down and that's it. <laughs> so that's the way that I view that. Um, let me take a look at uh, medium sales prices for the Daytona Beach area. Daytona Beach, Palm Coast. Um, this is the area that um, is near Orlando, just north of Orlando on the beach. It's very pretty beach. Um, and again, I'm not seeing anything coming down. I'm seeing a pretty steady increase. Um, a couple of years ago, it started here, and now it's up. It's not spiking. It's not falling. It's not doing anything but appreciating normally. Uh, let's take a, take a look at the Gainesville area, Central Florida, uh, University of Florida. Go Gators. So here we are. And it went up, came down some, went back up again, came down, went back up, came down a little bit. So as they go month to month, just because you have a bad month doesn't mean that things are bad. Um, here, we're in April 2021. Compared to April 2023, two years later, um, it is a steady increase is what it looks like. Sure, it had a couple of peaks and a couple of valleys, but all in all, it is a steady increase uh, going on here. Nothing major, nothing to be shocked about, nothing to say, oh my God, the sky is falling. Let's take a look at the greater Jacksonville area, which includes, you know, Jacksonville, St. Augustine, um, near Palm Coast. And again, we see the markets going pretty steady, steadily up as normal. Um, nothing major, nothing's going to kill anything out there. And we're just looking at single family homes right now. I'll go more in details on uh, some condos and things like that. But here it is. Let's take a look at the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, the Southeast Florida. The Southeast Florida of our state is going up pretty good. So it hit here at the high point of 2022, came down, went down a little bit, and it's almost right back up to where it was before. So within about a year's time, it recovers. It seems like Florida seems to be in a very unique bubble of holding property values. Uh, it's in a high demand because we're in a, we're in a nice tropical climate. Uh, there is no snow where you don't have to scrape your ice off your windshield. There's no freezing uh, going on here. It may get a little bit chilly in the northern part of Florida during the winter time, but you're still not going to see any snow here in, here in Florida. It's very rare that that would happen. Um, it is a place of where a lot of people want to come to, play golf, um, have fun, and enjoy the, the summer activities. Let's take a look at Naples. Uh, this area here, if we look at Naples, let me apply this. Uh, Naples, St. Marco Island. Uh, here we go. We went up. We came down a little bit. We went up a little bit. We came down a little bit. And we're still up. So if I look at this area, the Naples, Marco Island area, we're looking at a medium sales price of 922000 And the same area back in 2021 was 680,000 does not does not look like a market crash to me. I don't know what it looks like to you, but it does not look like a market crash. So let's take a look at some other areas. Let's look at the Sarasota, uh, Bradenton, Venice, uh, Port, Port Charlotte area. 
Let's take a look and see how that area is doing. And again, it is steadily going up. Here we are at uh, $540,000, where two years ago was about $400,000. So in two years time, that's a pretty good appreciation for a wonder for the sunny state of Florida. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a look at the Orlando area. We'll hit apply. We're looking at medium sales prices. And again, pretty steady Eddie. Uh, 420 now, where you were able to buy it a year ago at um, you know, $70,000 less for uh, 343000 And it's a two year time span. That's normal appreciation. And I don't see how that makes a difference um, in this area. So let's take a look at Palm Bay, Melbourne, Titusville. Let's look around the state at the major metropolitan areas. And here we are again. It's going up and up and up and up and up. You may have a few little dips, but if I look at the end time, uh, April, 2023, um, Almost two three hundred and sixty thousand versus two years ago two hundred almost ninety thousand in this area. Uh, it is a normal appreciation again, and I can do this all day long. I don't know how people are are saying that you know the market is coming down and it's crashing and you know the sky is falling when in reality it's not. Not everywhere, not all over the place. Uh, here's the Panama Beach area, Panama City. Um, this is again two years ago, 276,000, now 358,000. Sure, we have a little few peaks, uh, or valleys, and we have a few peaks, but all in all, it is going up. Um, some people believe some months are better to buy than other months. I don't really know about that, uh, honestly. Any time is a good time to buy. Real estate will eventually go up. It's kind of like a stock that, a blue chip stock. You buy it, you hold on to it long enough, you're going to make money on it. So here's the Pensacola uh, Ferry Pass Brent area um, near Mobile, Alabama. And we have a peak here, came down a little bit, but this was just something that people were buying. If you took this month out, it would be a pretty steady eddy ride as well. Here we are, 325,000. Uh, two years ago, it's 300 or 262,500 approximately. So, pretty steady. Uh, I'm still looking for the you know great crash, and I'm not seeing it. Port St. Lucie met, uh, met, metro area of Port St. Lucie, here we are, uh, exactly two years ago, 325,000 approximately, and here you are at $400,000. So that's a $75,000 increase over a two-year time span, which is a typical normal appreciation here in the state of Florida. Uh, I don't know how it is in the rest of the country, but we're gonna check. Sebastian Vero area, let's take a look at that. And again, we had a, had a little dip here, but if we were to take that dip out, it's not doing bad at all. Here we are at $407,000 for two years ago. It was 324. Again, you're looking at about $80,000 increase over the past two years time, which seems to be typical here in Florida. Um, it doesn't matter when you jump in and buy here. It's like I said, like a blue chip stock. It's going to go up. Uh, Tallahassee area here again. Let me just take a look at the end here to uh, our last report, which came out in April 2023. Uh, just a few weeks ago, 322,000 versus two years ago at 267,000. Um, was the average price. And again, no huge dips, none of that crazy stuff. Let's take a look at the St. 
uh, Petersburg, Tampa area, um, clear water. This is really neat. If I look at that, I'm looking at $400,000 compared to $313,000, which is about, what, $86,000 increase over two years. It's a nice steady increase. I'm not looking at anything crazy. I'm just looking at data and information. This is where I'm at, Jupiter, Florida. If I'm looking at the city, which our city bounces a lot. And it's based on, there's a lot of wealthy people that live here in Jupiter, Florida. And when somebody sells a house, they could sell a 30, 40, 50 million dollar mansion really easily. Uh, and that throws these numbers way high. So it does look like a crazy graphic chart. But if I look here at 770 or 755,000 versus 502,000, that's about a 200 and some odd thousand dollar increase over the past two years in the city of Jupiter. But Jupiter is kind of like the Beverly Hills of California or or of Florida, actually. And those are the numbers for that. If we look at the entire county of Palm Beach, it looks quite different because now you're taking the average homes in county, Palm Beach County. Let's take a look at the average on Palm Beach County, and here we are. Steady as she goes. 585,000 to uh, was our latest report, 466, again, an $80,000 increase. So you're looking at it having approximately a $40,000 increase over uh, a one-year period here in the state of Florida. And I've gone through every single major metropolitan area um, in the state of Florida. Uh, how does that compare with the national? Well, if the entire United States as a whole is doing uh, one point five, one and a half percent. You can see that Miami is still hot. Uh, maybe it's not on fire anymore, but it sure does look that way from here. And if you're looking at other Florida states or cities in Florida, Orlando seems to be doing well, above average. Uh, Jacksonville, still above average. Tampa, still above average uh, in the positives. And I'm looking for Florida, 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 Florida. Am I missing something? No. Still looking for Florida, and I'm not seeing it. I'm, what I am seeing is Austin in the negative, San Francisco in the negative, San Jose in the negative. Seattle in the negative, and these prices here are falling, but it doesn't mean anything other than supply and demand. That means people are leaving some of these areas and they are taking that money and buying in some of these areas here. And that's all that that means, and that's my market report for the United States. Uh, feel free if you have any uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you, I've been in real estate for 30 years uh, as a broker associate, had my own company for a while, um, but love selling real estate, love being out in the trenches, love working for you, the buyers and sellers to make your dreams come true. So if you have any questions, please let me know down below. Uh, if there's a video that you would like to see that I have not done yet, uh, please let me know. I'm always looking for some great ideas. I appreciate it and thank you so much for watching my video.